Welcome to a Slapshot episode of the Russian Rulers Podcast. Today's uh, short version of a uh, podcast is going to be possibly one of the shortest ones I've done, but it's on a very important issue. It uh, has to do with the reforming attitude of Alexander I, and in particular one man, a very brilliant person who rose up from the ranks, uh, one of the most talented people in Russian history that very few people know about. His name was Mikhail Speransky, and he was appointed by Alexander, as I mentioned in a previous podcast, to try to come up with a new constitution and reforms. Uh, Speransky did a lot of work on it, spent a number of years, but in all honesty, I don't think Alexander ever intended on him implementing the policies that Speransky put out. But here I'd like to read something from Speransky. And this was about what he saw in Russia and what its condition was at the beginning of the 19th century. And he wrote this memorandum in 1802. And I think it's very telling on what Russia was really going through and the problems it was facing that many didn't know about outside of Russia or even within the country. So here goes. The outward impression is that we have everything and yet nothing has any real foundation. I should like someone to point out the difference between the dependence of the peasants on the landlords and the dependence of the landlords on the sovereign. I should like someone to discover whether in fact the sovereign does not have the same right over the landlords as the landlords have over the peasants. Thus, instead of all the splendid divisions of a free Russian people into the very classes of nobility, merchants, and the rest, I find in Russia two classes, the slaves of the sovereign and the slaves of the landlords. The first are free only in relation to the second, but there are no truly free persons in Russia except beggars and philosophers. The nobles, having no sort of political existence, must base the freedom of their life on the enslavement of the peasants. The peasants, in the condition of slavery which oppresses them, look up to the throne as the single counterforce which is able to moderate the power of the landlords. What an incredible insight into what Russia was at the time of Alexander I, all the way through Alexander III, and it started to crumble completely under Nicholas II two classes, the slaves of the sovereign and slaves of the landlords. And in it, the landlords had to subjugate the people in order to feel that they had some freedom at all. Very powerful words from a man, Mikhail Speransky, that, you know, I suggest you do a little bit digging into the man because he's fascinating. And he would have changed the very course of Russia had he been allowed to implement his ideas for reform then again, it might not have worked, but it could have been worth a trial. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that short little podcast. I thought it was very important when I read it. Uh, I just picked up a new book that I got this from. It's by Michael Court. It's called A Brief History of Russia. So for people who are looking at something you know rather easy to read and uh, you know quite good with a good bibliography, it's about 300 pages with the index. So again, Michael Court, A uh, Brief History of Russia. Uh, please stop by the Russian Rulers History Podcast Facebook fan club and ask to join and start uh, sharing in with some of the suggestions and ideas. We've got a few coming up now. Uh, I'm hoping to interview a very famous religious uh, figure in the near future who's in the Russian Orthodox Church and give us an insight into the church outside of Russia and some of his feelings about things like Nicholas II and his elevation to sainthood. And a number of other uh, issues, like who you know the most important saints were, because I know that came up once from one of our listeners, uh, who the most important Russian Orthodox saints were. The, the church is very intertwined with the day-to-day -day life of the Russian people and the rulers and had a great influence. So looking forward to that. So also any other questions you might want to ask, uh, have me ask of the, uh, the person. So uh, don't forget to go there. Uh, 
leave a suggestion, make a comment, ask a question. And as always, das vidanya i spasiba bolshoya.